to a mysterious death in North Carolina. The FBI now investigating the hanging of a 17-year-old football player. Local officials ruled it a suicide, but the boy's mom says she knew there were signs there were something was wrong the minute she saw his body. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne with the details. We will not rest. Today, a march through the streets of Bladenboro, North Carolina, by protesters demanding to know how Lennon Lacey, a promising 17-year-old athlete, died. Last August, the football player left home to go for a walk. The next morning, Lacey was found hanging from a playground swing in a predominantly white trailer park. I need EMS. I have a man hanging from a swing set. Police ruled his death a suicide, but Lacey's family refused to believe that. His mother and brother spoke about it to Yahoo's Katie Curran. He didn't do this to himself. He was just too happy for life. He just wanted life. Their fear that Lacey may have been murdered, possibly the victim of a racial hate crime. We know it was a hanging. And the question is, was it a suicidal hanging? Was it a stage hanging? Lacey's family has raised some troubling questions. How did the five foot nine Lacey reach the seven and a half foot high bar? Why would he kill himself? And they say the belt that he used was not his. They told Katie Couric not even the shoes he was wearing when his body was found were his. We knew that those weren't the shoes he had on his feet because his sister saw him with those Jordans on when he left. And what about the shoes that he was wearing when he was found? We, don't, we, we don't know where those shoes came from. Those questions now getting the scrutiny of the FBI, which will conduct its own investigation into the mystery of what happened to Lennon Lacey that hot summer night. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, New York.